Hi there, this is Vince of VincePrep.com talking about the MIT Sloan MBA Class of 2016 Essays. Question 1. The mission of the MIT Sloan School of Management is to develop principled innovative leaders who improve the world and generate ideas that advance management practice. Discuss how you will contribute toward advancing the mission based on examples of past work and activities. So let's 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 compare briefly, let's compare this essay to the Harvard essay and let's compare it to the Stanford essay. Stanford first, which by the way is a very good first set of essays to write before MIT and certainly before Harvard. So compared to Stanford, Stanford is saying what matters most to you and why and then prove it with examples. The prove it with examples part is implied. Here I'm, MIT is telling you this is what's important to us. Our, man, our mission is to develop principled innovative leaders who improve the world and generate ideas that advance management practice. So they're telling you what matters most to them. Then they want you to prove that you match their value. So how you will contribute to advance that mission based on examples of past work and activities. Past work and activities, work is work, professional, and activities are outside of work. And these are all in the last three years. My advice on this essay is to define for yourself what management practice is, what's normal in your industry or your sector. So in my case, for an admissions consultant, what is standard management practice, client management practice, expectation management practice. And then I would talk about uh, ideas that I have generated that advance that management practice, like having a YouTube channel. I was one of the first independent counselors to have a channel. My channel's pretty old. It's not the biggest, it's not the best, it's not the brightest, shinest, or flashiest. Yeah, I can speak English. It's not the flashiest. It is one of the oldest, as far as I know, among people like me who are just a guy who sits here and reads essays and thinks about essays and asks questions about essays. So I've had a YouTube channel that's management practice, client management, expectation management, and also trying to Put, put my ideas out there into the marketplace. Anyway, I'm not applying to MIT Sloan. You are. So identify the times in the last three years that you've advanced management practice. But as a first step, define the terms for yourself. That might be very boring and dry to include in your final essay, but as an initial brainstorming exercise, or certainly for my clients before you show your essay to me, define what management practice, what normal management practice is, Again, in your industry, your sector, your region, your what are the expectations? Rod Garcia and his team know what's expected of a McKinsey consultant, a Goldman Sachs banker, or their folks like that. But you may be a teacher. You may be uh, working in, in the field. You may be in sales. You may be in marketing. Uh, you may be running a startup. You may be working in a non-traditional industry or from a non-traditional background. Um, and more power to you if you are. It's a strong diversity point. You may be from a country from, uh, from which MIT Sloan does not get a lot of applications. You may be performing a job function that's not well defined. Espe look, especially in any kind of a startup environment or social entrepreneur type environment, define the context for them and then give examples of how you moved past the norm. Uh, this relates to the second essay, which I'll be talking about in a second video. So, thanks for watching. This is Vince of VincePrep.com. I make these YouTube videos every chance I get. Uh, please subscribe and you'll be the first to know when I've uploaded a new one. These are my questions behind the questions, my video series for the applicants for the class of 2016. Thanks for your time. Do your best and uh, have fun. The more you enjoy this process, the more your readers will enjoy reading your essays. It's a simple fact. So don't look at this as a burden. Look at this as an opportunity. All right. Thanks again. Bye-bye.